Welcome. Uh, my name is Puya Mood, Application Manager at MyFC, and today we have uh, Akhil Madam, Electrochemistry Engineer, with us. We talk about the fuel cell and battery and uh, both of them as a hybrid solution in mobility application. Reliable energy supply is a major concern and crucial for development of a global society. To address the dependency on fossil fuels and the negative effects of this on climate, there is a need for a transition to cleaner sources. Fuel cell and hydrogen technology has the potential to deliver clean energy at every scale in an urban landscape. So within this context, can you, Akhil, tell us a little bit about fuel cell and uh, battery and both of them as a hybrid solution? Definitely. We will first talk about what a fuel cell is and then what a battery is and then we will combine them together. A fuel cell is an electrochemical energy conversion device that converts hydrogen and oxygen into electricity and heat via a chemical reaction. And this chemical reaction is not a combustion reaction. While on the other hand, battery is a simple electrochemical storage device that stores electricity and then delivers whenever it's required. So combining this conversion device and storage device to one unit is a fuel cell hybrid solution. We understand that decarbonizing transport is a major challenge. EU has recently put further legislations in place regarding that and the increasingly demanding standards mean greater fuel efficiencies and rollout of alternative uh, powertrains uh, such as hybrid and electric uh, vehicles. Uh, how would a fuel cell uh, battery hybrid solution look like? A fuel cell battery hybrid solution can be built in a couple of ways. The first way is to let the fuel cell handle the base load and battery will take care of the peak power. And the other way is to let the battery handle the base load and the fuel cell will handle the peak power. Thank you. What would a fuel cell battery hybrid solution deliver? Fortunately, fuel cells and batteries are great complements to each other. We have limitations with the batteries like energy density and charging time. And we also have limitations with the fuel cell technologies with respect to power density. But combining these two, the limitations of each will be offset by the other technology, which in turn would give out highly energy and power dense system. And also, this system will be efficient over a wide range of power output. We can also think of conventional hybrids in this, in this case. In order to scale up a conventional hybrid, we need to re-engineer from square one. But in case of a fuel cell battery hybrid, we just need to add more tanks. And with the existing electric powertrain, the regenerative braking would not lose any efficiency. This can also be recognized if we plot a graph between usable power and usable energy. As we can see in the plot, fuel cells will have advantage with respect to usable energy, while batteries will have advantages with respect to usable power. Combining batteries and fuel cells, we will have advantages of both the devices over a wide range of power output. Combining batteries and fuel cells, we will have advantages both with respect to usable power and usable energy with our technology. And also, an ample window for innovation follows with our technology. Uh, so one can say that uh, in a hybrid mode of operation, fuel cell is not primarily used for supplying power at any operational level, but for covering the base load and average power demand and supply the energy needed to extend the range. Uh, the average power demand uh, is uh, determined by, for example, in a car, uh, driving cycles. So my next question for you would be that what hurdles do you foresee in developing a fuel cell battery hybrid system? The critical challenge in developing a fuel cell, fuel cell battery hybrid is integrating the fuel cell with the battery. Following that challenge, we have to pack it safely in a car in such a way that both the fuel cell and battery work harmoniously without compromising on efficiencies. Thank you. Uh, I see that you've brought something for us from the lab. Yes, uh, I've got some fuel cells from the lab to show. Uh, this is a single cell. This is the smallest unit on which we work. This has one, member, one membrane electrode assembly, which by which I mean it has one cathode and one anode, and it has provisions for hydrogen and air flow in it. 
and this can be extended into what we call an array which is this and it has doubled the number of membrane electrode assemblies in the same footprint of a single cell. So uh, this being our uh, smallest building block, we are uh, scaling up our technology and also uh, thinking uh, modular when it comes to the hybrid solutions. Uh, we are also uh, developing the technology readiness level to uh, the higher levels in our lab by increasing the maturity level uh, step by step. So this is an example of a unit we tested in the proof of concept uh, in the BMW i3 installation. Uh, we will in short uh, watch some footage uh, related to uh, the proof of concept that uh, we developed uh, last year and was showcased in Al Medalen. So let's uh, watch that footage. The team developed and tested a proof of concept for our fuel cell technology. We gained a lot of know-how knowledge with this and also managed to put into practice the advantages of scalability and modularity of the fuel cell design. We successfully charged the battery of the car with electricity generated by fuel cell as an in series hybrid solution, where the aim was to maintain the battery state of charge in a certain range. And here is the footage of uh, the battery in the BMW i3 getting charged. It is important to point out that we did not use pressurized hydrogen tank for this proof of concept. Instead, we pushed the limits by using our fuel solution to generate a hydrogen on board of the car. Behind this proof of concept, we had a dedicated team that worked day and night to achieve the demonstration of the technology. Picture shown here is a render of our technology uh, at CES where we demonstrated our ability in freedom in design for our fuel cell solution. So this is the first of a few technical vlogs where we share knowledge uh, about our fuel cell technology. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.